Hello again, welcome back to Asgard, and welcome back to ATM Spellbound. Uh, so since the last episode, I have done a massive amount of work. I, I did a lot on the exterior. You can see there's a roof up there. Uh, there's a roof on this, and, and I also started running some of the supports. They still need detail, of course, but I started running some of the supports beneath these walkways and added this little side walkway. I still got a lot of cleanup to do. Uh, and a lot of detail work to do, but it is definitely, it is definitely coming along. I tried to, one of my main focuses this week, this weekend was getting just the structure all there for the most part. The only part of the structure that is not presently there is this back part, uh, because of course that's got to come up and I'm thinking that once it is all done, we should be able to see that right there and it's going to make kind of like a almost like a triangle shape uh, for the structure. And I also got the windmill set up and you can see a little bit more detail uh, back in there. And uh, if we come around to the side, I did bring up uh, some sections of wall here, trying to just close everything in. I know it's really, really boxy on this side at the moment. Uh, but if you recall, this side over here was extremely boxy as well uh, until we got detail work. Also around to the side, uh, brought that back once again very very boxy at the moment, but we're getting there so a lot of work a lot of work on the exterior uh, actually took me uh, a decent amount of time now if we come in I did a lot of work on the inside too uh, there's actually some places where uh, like if we come down to here I did get this all plugged up and I wanted to show you something kind of nifty uh, well, it's not in here anymore because I moved it, but uh, I did have to add soul compost and all the modium site. So I just did a double chest here, moved the uh, drawer controller to back here. I know we can't access it. I really don't mind. Uh, it was easier than moving the slave and it just doesn't, we, it's not something we're going to use. Uh, so whether it was the slave there or the, the controller, it didn't really matter for us. So, uh, but this over here, I have a special output routing node purpose of this apparently something i did not know these guys would give I, like i knew they would give most of the stuff and i actually knew they gave all the modium side i just forgot about it because uh, if you recall we were getting it from the uh the pigman farm down in the blood magic area where our soul stuff is you know we were getting like all this stuff but something we never got they can drop all the modium boots so this farm is producing all the modium boots which of course are massive defense if we wanted like boots that made us unkillable then you know we've pretty much got them right here uh like i said i'm i don't think i'm gonna go with that because i actually like uh the boots that we've got i like the setup that we've got and i don't feel like we need god tier armor at least at the moment so i uh, also started running this back a ways uh we're gonna be setting this up here soon uh, but you can kind of get an idea of what's what's gonna happen i Put a lot of our spawners out. We're going to be changing them, of course, with spawn eggs. Uh, and ran this back and added a little segment here as well. Uh, now, the next thing, let's go ahead and just pop home. Uh, let's see, I did do a bit of work down in the occultism area because uh, I've been trying to finish up certain areas. So I finished up this. I'm not going to run all the way back there, but the area back in the far back has the walls brought up and stuff, but uh, I still have a little bit of work, especially the ceiling uh, and whatnot. And I still got some decorating to do down there, but uh, starting to get that occultism area finished out. Now, if we head up, we're going to go back there here shortly. But if we head up, all that big open space that was on the inside, you know, we were down there flying around with the broom when we were doing astral sorcery. I have finally got the the inside pretty much all laid out and that was actually a big achievement for me because laying out rooms and figuring out how I'm gonna lay things out takes a while now I'm still gotta I've still gotta actually frame in rooms and stuff but that big old open space we now have set up and we have this area so very very unfinished but you could probably guess what's going to happen up here because we're going to be crafting our ATM stars up here. Um, we got to fill it with mechanical crafters, which is fine. And you can actually see shafts and cogs 
ran across the ceiling. They actually come in over here because pretty much all of our create stuff is on this side. Now these aren't currently plugged up at the moment, but pretty much all of our create stuff is on this side of the castle. So they'll come in, they'll run through, and then get sent down and plug into our mechanical crafter. Uh, they're actually going to plug in right in here. So these are trap doors, uh, just moonstone blocks because we, we have so much moonstone. Uh, this comes back, this part, uh, I've still got to build it out. I lied. I don't actually have all the rooms, all the space filled. I, for, I actually kind of forgot about that. The the stars up here, by the way, these are luminizers. We're, we're going to be using some of those for exterior travel. And uh, this connects out to this balcony here, uh, which is still unfinished. Uh, and then I did go ahead and ran the stairs. Uh, so we have stairs that come up here, and of course stairs that come up on the other side. Uh, we've got stairs that run up here that lead out to uh, this balcony here. Uh, and they'll actually come around and you'll be able to access uh, some of this area here. I'm going to make it so we can access a little bit of it for some stuff. but uh, And then this steps up to this area, which is unfinished. Um, and then these stairs here, and there's also some stairs on the other side, basically lead to the same place. But these come up, uh, and you can see where those come up. And then this comes up to the astral area so i actually finally have a way for you to by foot to get to the astral area uh, up at the top of the castle it's a long jaunt from the from if you're outside the castle uh, like let's say you're down way down there uh, it's actually a bit of a jaunt to get to the the very very top so uh but yeah so anyways i got all of that stuff worked out it was a very, very busy building weekend for me, uh, as you might imagine. Oh, and I also did just a little bit of work down in the living quarters. Uh, but anyways, what we're going to be doing today, of course, is we're going to start into the Eidolon mod. We do have a few quests here to turn in. We're going to get a Malum Spirit Pile. We're going to get a Malum Spirit Pile. And we're going to get a Malum Spirit Pile. And a Medium Wind Curio's Grab Bag. The plastic drinking hat. Uh, so let's just dump all that in there. We don't need any of that. Uh, but anyways, we're going to be starting into the Eidolon mod. Uh, we do have a checkmark quest here. We're going to go ahead and just say okay. Uh, and, and we will need to make the R's Ecclesia book really, really quickly. And then we're going to step into the room that we're going to be doing all of our work in. So there's that. And then if we step into our new Eidolon room, I spent a bit of time in here because I wanted to actually be able to work on a mod and have a room that's already decorated and planned out for the mod. Uh, so we have ourselves a little space for Eidolon. Very, very gray. Uh, it is a very um, kind of dark mod. So I figured we're going to go with a lot of grays and blacks. We got some bones. And we got these banners here uh, that I threw together. Not the craziest thing, but... And then we got some shelves here. We have some cabinets here. But... Uh, and these, we're going to get into using these here shortly. So anyways, we got our book here. This is actually kind of a useful book uh, because we're going to have to be trading it uh, to get knowledge later on. But for right now, uh, they want us to make pewter. And we're going to have to blend together tin and lead for that. We actually do not have any tin, apparently. Uh, there's a bay that can give it. And I don't think it's actually come up on any mod that we've actually done anything with. Uh, and if it did, we only mined a very specific amount of it. Uh, so we are going to first up be mining, it looks like. And what's strange is it actually doesn't come from the dimensional mine shaft, you'll notice. Neither does Mystical World Tenor. Uh, now it's possible that it might only come from the all the mod dimension. The tin bay is quartz and stoned. Uh, so honestly, it's something that we could just breed for. The only thing is we need a block of tin. Oh my gosh. Uh, it might be that we have to go to the, all the mods dimension. And if it's not this, really that's it. We have how much, uh, we have 103 all the modium nuggets at the moment. So I think we can pull that off. Mining Dimension and Other Places. Place in the other world. Sneak right click. Empty hands. I was actually wanting to start that soon anyway. So not a big deal. That's how it works. You know. 
I, can't, I couldn't remember if we covered it on camera or not, but I don't think so. We would have had faster breeding if we had done if we had done it uh, on camera, I think. Okay. Yeah, let's do the, the teleport pad here. And there we go. Now we are in the mining dimension. So it's a flat world at Y75. So let's hope if we go down in this area and I think this is the dimension where the ice and fire dragon spawn if I recall was that uh, no that was yeah we got 10 okay so it is from this dimension like I said I thought I was like really really prepared <laughs> for this video didn't even think about not having 10 for pewter but that's okay that is all right because I was like oh we got a space built out you know we're gonna be in a good spot yeah, that should be enough, honestly, because we're gonna we're gonna get times five processing on it. So, okay, I thought I hit record. I did not. Uh, didn't miss that much. Uh, made up the pewter, so we finished that quest, and then I made up the brazier and the stone hands. Uh, and I was thinking the quest wants us to make eight stone hands. Uh, now, it has been a while since I did Eidolon, but I don't remember needing eight hands for anything. Uh, so I just got them in here. I've got the six set up. We'll take a look at it here in a second. I do apologize. I thought I'd hit record. Uh, but at this point, I'm going to go out and I'm going to capture some zombies because we need to start getting into making uh, soul shards. But uh, I was going to say that, and that's when I realized I wasn't recording, uh, if you want like more of an optimal setup for Eidolon, what you would want to do is have a spawner and maybe vector plates pushing them to one end, uh, and that way you just have a bunch of like zombies or whatever on hand all the time. I'm not going to do that just because it doesn't look as good, and it doesn't really fit into my room very well. So, our progress today through Eidolon is not optimal <laughs> uh, for what we could do, but... Form over function uh, is, of course, one of my mottos. And so we are going to be actually capturing our zombies and sticking them into cages. Because it just seems like more fun to me. So just a heads up, if you want a lot faster um, kind of idle on progression and idle on crafting, uh, that would be a great method for it. But I'm not going for that. I saw you, zombie. But yeah, I mean, if you had a spawner kind of pushing them over to your altar area, it would be a lot more efficient. But uh, like I said, I'm not really going for that. It doesn't fit this level of the castle. Um, and that's why, that's another reason a lot of this stuff we could easily automate, but it's just not clean. Uh, and I want everything to kind of look nice. This is a perfect pack to just focus on making a nice castle that looks nice and doing some magic while we're at it. Uh, but anyways, I've got our stone hands laid out like this. Now, if I have to add another uh, two, I'll just add them over here. It's not ideal, but I can make it work. Uh, but like I said, I think we're only going to need six for our crafting, but we'll see. Uh, we're going to need to start getting into doing our prayers pretty quick. But we're going to go ahead and lock up our zombies. Now, one thing I have not tested before uh, with the Eidolon mod, though, is seeing if the stone hands and the sacrifices can be on different Y levels than the brazier. Because uh, I know the mod intends for you to use enchanted ash. You lay it on the ground and it basically makes like a mob proof uh, salt line uh, that mobs can't cross, cross. But it doesn't look pretty. So I'm hoping, I think we can have maybe our zombies up here in our cages. Uh, so we're going to give it a shot see what happens. So, anyways, uh, the for this ritual we're gonna need two redstone and bone meal. Uh, the one, the item that goes here goes onto the brazier. The items that go here uh, go into your stone hand. So we're just going to click, 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 uh, and then all we have to do is just light this with our flint and steel. Some sparks are gonna happen, and what should happen is. It's going to consume the redstone. It is working good. Uh, and then it's going to kill nearby mobs. Perfect. And in return, we're going to get some soul shards. So we got four. Not a lot. Uh, that's okay. And uh, we get eight more, though, from the quest. That's great. 
Okay. Now at this point they want us to get the magic workbench. So let's go ahead. Boom, there's that. Uh, and then we're get, going to get the pewter inlays. A few of those. Now our magic workbench, we are just going to be setting this up like right over here-ish. Uh, right there is good. Uh, so basically we have a crafting table with four additional slots. Uh, then they're going to want us to get crucibles. Uh, and that's a lot of the reason I made so much pewter. I'm actually going to be getting four of these. Somewhat for decoration, but also because uh, ideally you'll want at least two of these anyways. And we're going to go ahead and just put these down in our smoky pit. Now they do require a heat source underneath them. We're going to be using campfires. Uh, but you could use something else if you wanted. It's actually kind of nice. It blocks a lot of the smoke. And then a little bit of it comes through. So it's not as smoky. Uh, I could have built a chimney. But I, I just didn't really have space with the door there. And it's a theoretical chimney. <laughs> Let's say that. It's a theoretical chimney. Uh, maybe it goes up the side somehow. I don't know. It's magic. We're in a magic castle. Okay, uh, so then they want us to make arcane gold. Uh, yeah, we're going to be making a bit of this, honestly. Uh, we're going to need two redstone and two gold. Uh, you're going to see steps here. Like this is step number one, this is step number two. Okay, so what we're going to do, let's grab this stuff out. And something that we don't have is a good way for to get water. Do we want to make a water sigil? Yeah, we're going to go ahead and make ourselves a water sigil. Um, there's a lot of different methods for kind of infinite water. Uh, like we could go with something like Evil Craft or, you know, whatever. And of course, just a two by two of water, but I think we're going to go with a water sigil. Though I'm not 100% sure if it's going to be able to fill up the crucibles. And if not, that's going to create a small issue, but uh, we'll see. Hello. There we go. Always handy. There we go. Bind it to us. And we should be all set now. Okay, now if all goes well, we should just be able to right click. Nope. It doesn't work. Now, another option could be Man and Artifice. Of course, we haven't progressed in Man and Artifice, so it's not an option for us. But if you have... Uh, I can't remember, is it the Wellspring Pillar? Maybe? Uh, but I seem to remember a block from Man and Artifice that can fill up uh, nearby things that can hold water, basically. Um, let me see, let me try this then. Yeah, it does work with uh, cauldrons. Okay, so in that case, what we're going to do, we're going to set up a cauldron. Honestly, I might just remove one of these crucibles uh, so it's a little bit cleaner. And we'll put a cauldron in right there. And then that way, we can just click that. It does mean that we'll have to have this turned off because we're going to have to have the bucket, but that's okay. And then we'll just store all this stuff on a shelf, the water sigil and stuff. Okay, so once this stuff starts boiling, what we are going to do Alright, so we toss that in We throw that in And there we go, there's our two arcane gold And then, of course, we'll fill it back up with water uh, Now we're actually going to have to make a lot of this stuff But they do give us four from the quest, that's actually quite nice uh, now next up we have a quest for the Soul Enchanter. I'm not going to get into that this episode. Uh, but we will probably be using that in an upcoming kind of gearing episode. You know, ever, ever so many episodes I like to do kind of a gearing episode just where we update our gear with some of the stuff that we've got available. And that is something that we will probably uh, dabble in slightly. But uh, So we're just going to move on past that today. The... Let's see, for the lesser soul gem, 
or we go let's actually go down to dark worship because this is actually going to be really important for us uh, and I'd like to get this up and going because it's kind of a little bit of a uh, time sensitive thing to some degree because it takes a bit of time because uh, there is a cooldown of a day that it takes for us to be able to uh, do it again so let's go ahead and get this underway but I am gonna have to go out find us a witch but you can see now we can make really nice wooden tables uh, and then we can take our straw effigy it just goes right there and we're gonna upgrade that later uh, but then we can take our goblet we're gonna put right here and then can we pull off candles I think we can Wait, I need uh, tallow, rotten flesh. Okay. I hate getting near this create area. Uh, create cobble gins. I have really, really bad luck with them. Now, sometimes this one is laggy like this. Sometimes it's not. It really just depends on the day and its mood, I think. Because, uh, you know, we've been in this room a lot of times. It isn't laggy. Today it's laggy. I don't know. I don't know why it's completely random as to how it feels. But I think it has a mind of its own. But we got ourselves some tallow. Because for our table, uh, there's a couple things that we're going to need in addition to our effigy. Uh, now if we take a look inside the book, I think it lists all of them. But I think I remember them from memory. It's going to be theurgy. Uh, altars. Uh, yeah, altar lighting, altar skulls, altar herbs. Uh, there's going to be different stuff listed, and you could say different power uh, or different capacity. Uh, we're going to be going with candles inside of candlesticks because uh, they're very, very easy to craft and they just look better. Uh, wither skeleton skull is the best skull that we can do. Wither rose is the best flower that we can do. Uh, and then everything else is pretty straightforward. So, all right, so let's go ahead. We're going to set up our candlestick, our candlestick. Let's see, let's move our goblet to the center and we're going to put our wither skeleton skull there and I think this is the layout that I want for our altar plus it looks really really dark and evil uh, and then they're going to want us to well at this point actually uh, let's go ahead, open up our Ars Ecclesia, and let's take a look at Mystical Signs. Actually, we don't have any. At this point, we need to pop out to... Let's see. Village and such. This waystone right here. Uh, and we need to fly out just a little ways, because we're going to need to give our book to a witch and a cleric villager. We'll get to that in just a moment. Uh, but the other day, whenever I was flying out, uh, I actually marked it here. But we do have a hexery uh, structure over here. And those are actually really good structures to pair with Eidolon because they're full of witches. Uh, so it's a perfect place for us to kind of stop by and trade our book off so that we can learn our very first sign. Um, which is the most important one. So, of course, I opened my map, so I'm chugging right now. Here we go. And I've got to make some of these herb drying racks too. I think that's, honestly, the decor is the best part about hexery getting added to the pack. Uh, but anyways, there is a witch. I also need to just steal all this. We're going to throw our book at her. She's going to take it. After a few seconds, she's going to throw it on the ground. There we go. And we unlocked the wicked sign. And let me also just go ahead and make up a waystone real quick. That way we can just teleport here next time. Because uh, we're going to be using this a little bit later on. Uh, now at this point, we can go ahead and pop on home. Uh, I need to empty out these soul gems anyways. Uh, so let's go ahead and just put our mobs inside. Uh, let's try it from these. I I'm sure it's going to see it go and boom awesome it's gonna give us a few more of these you can never really have too many of these you don't need a ton of them um, but we will still need a bit all right so we're gonna open this up and you can see we've got this right here this is the wicked sign 
Uh, and what we're going to do is click that, 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 and we're going to chant it. Boom. Uh, now we didn't get anything, and if we try to do it again today, like if we go boom, 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 and chant it, you can see it did the fizzle sound. Uh, that's because we're limited to, to a chant once per day, basically to the gods, you know. Uh, so what we're going to have to do is basically just wait, because uh, you're going to get different signs here that we're going to be unlocking, and you can do like combinations of them uh, by just clicking, you know, bah, do a lot of them, or clear. And this is the way that, and we're going to have to do these basically to learn uh, new signs and basically progress with the theurgy side. Uh, of the mod. So there's a lot of stuff here that's locked, uh, like Dark Prayer. Uh, we're chanting to the Dark Lord and attempting to draw their favor. And then the Unholy Symbol, we're not going to be able to get that just yet. Uh, but that's going to be used for our pewter inlay. Uh, but at this point, we can go ahead... Oh, I'm actually surprised. Uh -huh. We're going to make one. Uh, I was thinking that there would be a quest for one. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make ourselves an apothecary stand. Just one should be fine. Uh, but basically, these are just an alternative to making potions, and they have to be placed on top of the crucible here. Uh, and you can see that we don't need blaze powder for that. Uh, for making basic, basic potions. I don't actually need it, but I just want to set one up uh, for decoration. Then we're going to use these two, of course, for crafting. So, uh, Let's see, the Shadow Gem... Yeah, this is a few steps. This will be a good example of multiple uh, steps. And we're going to need some Essence of Death. Zombie Heart, Rotten Flesh. Okay, so let's go ahead. Um, if you take a look at Essence of Death, it's going to have like Bone Meal, and then it's got these symbols here. Basically, that means we have to stir the cauldron after throwing those in. We're going to have to stir it twice. So what we're going to do, let's go ahead, let's toss in that, toss in that. We'll give it just a moment here. Change colors. We're going to toss in the bone meal. Oh, no. Man. I actually hate this crafting mechanic, by the way. Because of that exact thing. Right, we're going to throw in that. Throw it. Let's see. I hate trying to aim this unless you stand right on top of it. Like I didn't want my crucible to have to like stand on top of it, but I'm, I'm starting to think that I might have to do that. There we go, stir twice. Throw in our charcoal. There we go. And we got our essence of death. Perfect. I mean, yeah, we could set it up with droppers or we could stand right on top of it, but I'm, I want to be able to craft just like this. Like, just taking it and throwing it in, you know. Uh, okay, so we got that. Now, to make our Shadow Gem, it's going to be Coal, it's going to be Gas Tear, and Essence of Death, Stir, Soul Shard, Essence of Death, Stir, and Diamond. Let's try this again. Maybe my stuff won't get caught on the lip of the Crucible. It does, it does. Okay. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'm getting very, very irritated with my stuff catching on the side of the crucible. It does not lend itself very well to trying to toss things in from the side. It's almost like it wants you to have to set it up like this. So, we're going to set it up like this. Just for simplicity's sake. It's going to make it a little bit easier for us to craft. Uh, so, we're going to throw in coal. There we go. That, that. Right click. That, that, that. Right click. And then our diamond. And there we go. You know, so much easier to craft. I, I wanted it to look nice, but I think we're just going to have to set it up out here. Go through the mod and then just have that up there, you know. Uh, okay, so now... Uh, they want us to get the Lesser Soul Gem, which is done in the Crucible. So we can just throw in that, throw in that, give it a second. Throw in that. 
stir, stir, throw in the nether quartz to finish it off. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make like two more crafts of this. Glass hand, yeah. Which is suggested not to use this because you take five times more damage. But I actually think with our current situation in armor, I'm gonna try using this because I almost feel like we could pull it off because we take no damage. And in addition, all the damage we take, a huge chunk of that is reflected back at enemies. So, I'm honestly leaning towards the glass hand. Now, if we didn't have our situation with armor, I would say, yeah, no, let's not use that. But I actually, I really want the glass hand. Uh, oh, but we're going to need a wraith heart. We're going to have to hunt wraiths. Or we're just going to make a spawner for wraiths. We have to go find a cleric villager, and it's basically just progressing theurgy. You know, I really need to just take some of these guys. Like, yeah, he's got the Codex Arcana. Let's take him. There you go. Goodbye. And while we're at it, because we're going to start into some mana and artifice soon enough, let's go ahead and take some rune forges. Free rune forges. And might as well take these two. Fletcher, there's a ritualist. Yes, I need you. And I'm going to go ahead and take you too. Oh, there's a mana weaver too. Okay, let me pop back home. Let me dump off these guys in the prison. There we go. Party in the prison. Uh, wait, where did you... There you are. No, there you are. And because I can, I'm going to take the rest of these. There you go. Lots of villagers. <laughs> Wee. Because uh, we'll actually need those once we start to man an artifice. Okay, back, back for what I actually want to do. Let me grab... No, I don't want the Fletcher. I want the Villager. There we go. And now let's take him home with us. And we're going to turn him into a Cleric. Down inside of this cage. There we go. We got ourselves a cleric and a bit of lag, too. There you go. Why don't you tell me about that book? There we go. We have unlocked the sacred sign. All right. So at this point, if we take a look, we will have unlocked a second sign here, the sacred sign. There we go. That time, it went off, and you could see that we got the blood sign. All right, so since we got that, we should have rituals, theurgy. Uh, we did unlock sacrifice animals. So at this point, what we can do is uh, basically bring an animal over and kill it. So it's going to be like that. So let's go grab ourselves a sheep, actually. I'm actually going to take my one white sheep. We're going to be setting up a sheep spawner down in the dungeon uh, in an upcoming episode. So we'll just set him up right there. Kill him. And you can see our goblet. Our goblet filled up with blood. It has to be animal blood. So sheep or uh, a cow or something like that will work. But then I think we have to wait until the next day. Since I did a chance to die, yeah, it fizzles. Uh, so we're going to have to wait for the next day, but that's fine. Uh, now at this point, let's take a look at... Yeah, we're going to need Wraith Hearts. Let's actually go out... Uh, let's see, do we just want to set up a spawner for them? They're not going to be, like, super vital to us, but... We will use them a little bit... Okay, I actually see a wraith on the map. But I don't actually see it on screen. I don't know why it's lagging so bad. Maybe it's underground. I may actually have to restart. Yeah, there we go. There's an idol on wraith. We're going to grab him. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to restart. I've noticed some uh, 
yeah. Okay, I'm gonna have to restart. Back and it seems better. It's it happens. I've noticed uh, whenever I fly around a lot or something, uh, it'll get kind of chuggy like that sometimes. I just assume it's the map, does it? Where are you going? There's nowhere. There's nowhere down here for you to be. Like this isn't. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm gonna have to get rid of them. I love them, but they're just really derpy. And I think that's the same one. And it seems to happen on like, whenever I restart a world or something, it seems to happen. All right, so let's go ahead. We are going to, a second, my spectral glasses are in here. They are indestructible now, though we really don't have to put them on. Uh, let's grab this one. Yeah, that one's already emptied. Let's grab this. And let's bring him over to our box. And look at that, we got a Wraith Heart. <laughs> what luck is that? I've killed so many Wraiths. It's, I mean, it's not like a crazy uncommon drop or anything like that, but uh, it's also not crazy common either. But we'll go ahead and let that run. That way we've got it, because uh, we will need additional Wraith Hearts later. Because I want to try this out, because this is one of the things that made me want to get into Eidolon, is the glass hand. Uh, so we can craft this now. And we will need a basic amulet. I'm going to have to craft more arcane gold. Uh, I did leave that, yeah, I left that set up out there. Uh, okay, so... This, 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 that, 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 like that. Uh, we're going to get ourselves the glass hand necklace. We're going to lose the amulet of mana regen, but honestly, well, I'd love to have both of them, but I think I really want this one. Uh, so what it's going to do, it's going to double the damage we deal, uh, but we're going to take five times more damage. Now let's pop into the overworld and see if we actually take any damage. This is probably a terrible dimension to spawn the wither, just because we might get blinded randomly. Let's actually see if... Uh... Yeah, it seems like uh, we still don't take damage, but it seems like they kill themselves. They kill themselves in a single hit because of all of our reflect. <laughs> Yes, yes, that's what that's exactly what I was hoping would happen actually is <laughs> The mobs would deal so much damage to themselves because we're taking five times more damage I don't know. I don't know if it's doubling that five times damage because you know it doubles the damage that we deal too on top of that Now if he hits me with a ranged attack Yeah, he's gonna kill himself. Look at this. Look at this. I can literally just stand here, and the Wither's going to murder himself. Oh, this is great. I mean, it's not as fast as if I was actually hitting him, but uh, I don't seem to be taking any damage whatsoever. You're about to die, buddy. There you go. You're dead. <laughs> yes, I have broke the game. Wait till we fight dragons with that. It's gonna be amazing. Not to mention we deal more, you know, we deal double damage. Which actually kind of gives us a balancing effect because we're not running the really crazy ATM weapons. But now all that reflect pays off even more. It looks like Wither can actually hurt us, but we might just get some wither protection because it's not that hard to get. Okay, whatever you do, don't try to do the daylight ritual from Eidolon while in the blue skies dimension. I tried to do that because I was going to try to get it to pass time uh, using our night ritual and our day ritual to quickly change the day. However, it crashed me and it got into a crash loop and I had to restore backup and fix everything and get back, go back through progression a little bit. My backup was about halfway through Eidolon, 
progress. So in this alternate timeline, I do not have all the villagers and I did not kill the wither. Uh, I also came out with one more essence of undeath because I didn't waste it. I used our cauldron down there, but uh, our crucible. But uh, yeah, so the glass hand was really the big thing that I was after. Uh, but I do want to finish out the progression. I know we're getting on in time and there is one other bobble that I do want to make here in just a moment. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead, grab one of our pewter inlays. And what we're going to do is if we open this up and we look at Theurgy, uh, the touch of darkness, it's going to be that and then that and then that and that. Uh, so what we're going to do, uh, I think I'm actually wearing the magnet right now. Let's toss this down. Toss this down. And we're going to go boom, 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 boom. Chant it. And there we go. We got our unholy symbol. All right, now at this point we can make the Reaper Scythe. And this is one thing that I really, really want to get. Uh, tattered cloth. And it's important to note that the unholy symbol, it's not consumed uh, whenever we craft. So we can go ahead and get that. Now we've got an alternate scythe from the Malum Scythe that we run. We have the Reaper Scythe. And uh, Crude Scythe is still higher attack damage. Uh, but this has a little bit higher attack speed. Uh, now let's go pop down to the Batania area. I'm going to throw... I don't need a lot of enchantments on this, uh, to be perfectly honest. Uh, what I do want is I want indestructible. I want looting. I want sharpness. Uh, the rest of these I feel like probably would just be wasting mana on this because it's not something that we're going to be using a ton of. Uh, so let's go ahead and enchant this up. I'm so happy that uh, I'm so happy that that bobble worked out that way. Actually, I tell you what, we're gonna go to down to the blood magic area because we should be able to get the spirits off of the wither skeleton. I don't even need to worry about him. Okay, yeah, it crashed me. Uh, it didn't throw me back much. Basically, right before we came into the blood magic area, so. And we'll see if we get any. I just saw one, actually. <clears throat> okay, so it doesn't have anything to do with the scythe. It was just, I don't know, random crash. They happen from time to time. And it's not, it's not nothing to do with this pack, really. It's just a 1.16 thing. I was really worried at first, because I was like, man, I don't want to have to go back. Wow, we got a lot of soul shards. Uh, I gotta sort this. Do these not have... No, they don't have void upgrades. We have 1,536 stacks of gas tears. So we got our scythe. There's an axe here that cleaves off heads. We're not gonna get that. The gear, we're gonna make some for armor stand. Uh, but we're not that worried about it. Same with the wands. But I do want to upgrade our altar. We need to make the stone altar and the elder statue. Uh, we're actually going to be making probably a bit of both of these for decoration. All right, so let's go ahead and get two stone altars, or two crafts of them. Uh, and then for the elder statue, we're going to need, most of this is just stone. Uh, but we are going to need a gold inlay, uh, so this right here. All right, I got us eight arcane gold for right now, but I'm going to be making a bit of it probably after this episode. Because I do want to use a bit of these statues for decorating with get ourselves I love crafts like this where once you have the stuff out of the way they're actually not terrible to make for like decoration uh, but there's four of those and at this point what we can do is we can actually break down our wood altar so we're gonna do that uh, and we're gonna replace it now with the stone altar And then we're going to break down our effigy, and we're going to replace it with the Elder Statue. Beautiful decoration. Oh yeah, I need to put my candles back on here, because they fell off. But there we go. That is our final tier altar. So at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to sacrifice one last animal to our Dark God. Uh, so let's take a sheep up here, kill it. There we go. 
And then sacrifice animal was that. So let's go ahead. Boom, boom, boom. Chant that. All right, we got new knowledge. And now at this point, we have the last section of Theurgy unlocked, which is Sacrifice Villager. Uh, and this is what's going to allow us to learn our very last mystical sign, which I've got a villager down in the basement. Let me go grab it. It's the one I use for the cleric villager. And we're going to take his blood. He has served his use. Uh, now, I will say, I don't think this, uh, this sign is actually used for anything, but I figure we'll unlock it anyways because... That way we kind of have maximum devotion to our dark god. We'll set him down. Slaughter him. And there we go. Now we have some villager blood uh, inside of our goblet. Okay. Now I imagine we're probably still going to be on cooldown. Yeah. We're still on cooldown right now. That's fine. Uh, now another thing that I want to go ahead and make is the necrotic focus. Uh, I'm going to be using this for decoration. I just want to briefly want to talk about it. Uh, basically, if you have the us near a brazier, you can use the us uh, and set a very specific item uh, to dictate what your ritual is going to do. Uh, we're not actually going to be doing it, but let's say you were doing um, uh, not not lesser summoning. Uh, for example, the sword of sapping, you would put an iron sword into uh, the necrotic focus. Uh, or basic amulet into the necrotic focus for the sanguine amulet uh, but like i said i don't think that there's actually any rituals that take eight i think six is still the maximum it looks like because these were always the most expensive things and they only require six uh, so the quest i think just maybe wants you to make them uh, just maybe for decoration i'm gonna assume i love decorating so I'm going to assume that's what it is. Uh, now, the last thing we're going to do, we are going to pray to our god and use our villager blood here in just a moment, but uh, I also do want to make the warded male. So there we go. Fairly cheap at this point. Uh, and this is going to help protect us against magic attacks, just because it's another layer of defense. So we'll go ahead and grab that. It's a good body slot option too. Okay, enough time should have passed by now. Let's go ahead. Chant. There we go, and we unlocked the Mind Sign, uh, which is this one right here. Now, like I said, it's not really used for anything. Same with this one. Both of these are just kind of, we unlock them for fun. Uh, you know, there's not much uh, that we're going to use them for. The mod is still pretty much in development, but uh, the Sanguine stuff is pretty useful uh, earlier on, but uh, I think we're pretty much sorted and no way would I want to trade out our necklace for, you know, healing. And I don't really care to have a sword that withers uh, enemies and stuff. So uh, there's also a few other baubles here. The Warlock Armor is really, really good if you're just starting out. A lot of these baubles are actually really powerful if you're just starting out. Uh, but there's not really any others that we would really want uh, in our current situation, I don't think. But anyways, I know it is wrapping up point. It is past wrapping up point at this point. Uh, so we're going to end this episode out here. Uh, like I said, I just wanted to push idle on, get a few decorative things that I really, really wanted, and get the glass necklace because I was hoping that that was going to be crazy insane because damage reflection is actually extremely powerful. And we've turned our Astral Sorcery defensive perks into Astral Sorcery defensive and offensive perks. It's great. We're, we're getting like a double dip from the astral sorcery tree now but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the episode if you did as always be sure and hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe if you're not already to stay updated with when new videos come out and i hope to see you guys next time so until then as always do take care stay safe and i'll see you guys then